from the historic Galois Theater, it's the Mystery Hour, and here is your host, Mystery Jeff Hoda! What are you watching? You have no idea. It's the Mystery Hour. It's a local late night talk show, and we give it a good shot. <laughs> hey, we have a great episode for you guys tonight. Hal Higdon, OTC president, is here. A sitting president. A sitting president. As well as poet Michelle Nimmo. Poetry. The classy. And we have a great title sponsor. Check out this ad we made for them. Here at Haven Home Health and Therapy, we get people back to doing what they love to do and give them the ability to try new things. We are that good. <laughs> We're not that good. Oh man, I hope you guys appreciate, uh, I've mentioned this before, but normally my hands don't have makeup and they don't match my face. Because, here's the thing, I'm very pale. So, I have the makeup artist make me look a little bit darker but believable. But my hands don't usually match it. But tonight, they're the same color. That was just my family that wooed. Hey, a man who might be paler than me over here is Dave Smith. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't do that for me. Yeah? She didn't do that for me, so it's, can you tell? Yeah? yeah. This is the normal. This, I, is, this is what burns in the sun. I feel like we're on the worst home shopping network show ever. <laughs> well, that's right, Jeff. It's time for hand makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Al's creepy hand makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. All right. These things I've noticed. You guys, these are things I've noticed, things I've observed maybe in your life and times. You can relate to some of them. Here we go. I've noticed that while standing at the deli the other day, it became evident to me that my 20-year boycott of roast beef has had no effect on the market. <laughs> so gross. I've noticed that the greatest secret I have is the wretched condition of my Sonicare toothbrush. They get gross, real gross. But Sonicare, if you're watching, advertise with us. <laughs> I've noticed that, do I think that all cats are out to get me and want to murder me? No, of course not. Do I think I'm wrong? Yes. <laughs> I've noticed that a cattle drive is also a food drive. <laughs> they, they just don't know it. <laughs> Where are we going? It's a food drive. <laughs> I've noticed that I imagine that if you're holding someone ransom now, you print off articles from the internet and cut letters out from the headlines to form your note. And finally, I've noticed that Walgreens is at the corner of my diabetic insulin prescription, and would you like to add some candy bars to your order? <laughs> That's things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. All right. Uh, we here at the Mystery Hour, you may know, we are all about the children. They are our future, and we want to support the children. So. We wrote a children's book, um, and we would like to read it now for some area children who have come to the show. And I think you guys might appreciate it, because we want to inspire the next generation. 
Jeff reads an inspiring book to cute children. So our children's book we are going to read for you children and for the audience is um, a book we wrote, uh, I wrote called Tommy Found a Quarter. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Tommy found a quarter just lying on the ground. He knew it wasn't his, so the owner must be found. He started searching high, and he started searching low. He looked out in the yard, and he looked out down the road. He came upon an old man just sitting at a table. He thought, this man might lose a thing. He just might be able. Excuse me, sir, said Tommy, as polite as he could be. Did you lose a quarter, just one or two or three? The old man nodded and said with a smile, no, son, I did not, and I would suggest you keep it for yourself because I'm an old man and I'm able to sustain, sustain myself in old age to the advantage of Social Security, enacted in the 1930s by FDR to ensure a social safety net for those down on their luck <laughs> or past a working age. However, the baby boomers are using up all the funds, so what you will be paying in later, you probably won't get out when you're old. You'll probably have to be the strangely old guy working at Gap just so you can afford your heart medicine. Keep the quarter, kid, you'll need it. <laughs> Tommy stopped and stared at him. What he was saying sounded scary. He knew he had to get away and hear something more merry. He came upon a man who was digging a ditch. He told him of the quarter and gave him his best pitch. The man said, son, I'm afraid it isn't mine. But could I have it? Look at me, I'm literally digging ditches. I have my MBA, do you know what that is? But the job market is tough and it's only gonna get tougher. I had to take a job literally digging ditches. Don't even ask me how much I owe in student loans. You see kid, the wage disparity is growing. Did you know that from 1978 to 2011, CEOs wages have increased 725% while workers wages have increased just 5.7%? I'm not asking to get rich, I just want a working wage. You know what? Keep the quarter kid, you'll need it. <laughs> Saddened but still determined, Tommy made his way to the woman across the street just to hear what she would say. Kid, I'd like your quarter, but you see it isn't mine. What you, a male, have is a quarter. So for me, a woman, it would be just 19.5 cents. It's called the gender pay gap, and it's a real thing. You got a sister? Give it to her. She'll need it. <laughs> Tommy was left with only questions, like is the future really bleak? Would he find the owner? Did he lose a paddle going up the creek? Then he saw the famous tree, the wisest in the town. The tree could talk and give wisdom. He wouldn't let him down. No, it's not my quarter, said the wise old, wise old tree. First off, I'm a tree. What would I do with a quarter? I tell you what, <laughs> if I did have a quarter, I'd be putting it towards environmental research. Global warming is happening, believe it. Keep the quarter kid and buy a boat, you'll need it. <laughs> Tommy went to the mayor. Just to hear what he would say, the mayor told him of the ongoing bubble and burst cycle built into the framework of our financial system. Tommy went to grandma, who told him of the growing polarization of politics and how less and less is being done just for the sake of politicians posturing to the most extreme members of their bases at the sacrifices of the normal citizens in the middle. <laughs> Tommy even went to Pilot Mike to hear his smart opinion. Take it from me, a world traveler, said Pilot Mike. It's no longer safe to travel and see the world. From terrorists to diseases, it's better to stay safe and isolate at home. Hide that quarter away forever, kid. Dejected and rejected, Tommy headed to his room. He looked down at his quarter. Is all life doom and gloom? He knew he could make it better just by giving it a shot. So he got online and learned how to trade stocks. And soon enough, he wasn't just good, he was great. Gone were the subprime mortgages and credit default swaps from before the financial collapse of 2008, but he knew the follow-up regulations lacked teeth. And it was the same old game as before, as long as you could find the loopholes. So Tommy invested in his favorite high-profile investment bank that has implemented an aggressive strategy of global growth in the hopes of expanding a business that faces lax re regulations offshore and is globally too big to fail, working man be damned. Tommy took his quarter and turned it into more. At the expense of everyone else, Tommy won the war. Remember kids, life is gross. Get what you can before someone else does. <laughs> we'll be right back with Hal Higdon, president of OTC.
Tonight's venue sponsorship provided by BYO Pizza. We have a great guest tonight, but even more than that, we have a great guest sponsor. The guest sponsor tonight is MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it. <laughs> All right, our guest tonight is indeed a sitting president. The president of OTC is here with us. Please give it up for Mr. Hal Higdon. Hal. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Have a seat. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. We have had very few sitting presidents, literally. Well, I also stand, but I can't yeah, sit. So. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like to be in charge of a real thing? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah? yeah? Do you, but you have to make decisions all the time. Well, I have, good, I have good people who give me a lot of good advice, and I usually do exactly the opposite. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so things are not going well for you there. <laughs> no, it's going great. Yeah. So um, here's my favorite, tell me if this is true, Yeah. that OTC was originally named Heart of the Ozarks Community College? It was heart named Heart of the Ozarks Technical Community College. So H-O-T-C-C? -C. Yes. Hot Community College? Why would you not keep that? <laughs> well, I wasn't here yet. Yeah, but you, 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 will you enact it again? Well, they cut the heart out of the college, and I don't know if we can put it back in. <laughs> right, <so>. right. <laughs> Uh, so, t but clearly you're not from here because you sound like you're from a different place. I'm from Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. Right. That's in America. That's in that's in the South, Decatur, Alabama. Yeah. So almost wasn't America, but still is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We won. Yeah. We did, um, we did. So how do you, how does one, uh, did you always have, did you have aspirations to be in administration in college or? No, I, I have de my degree from the University of Alabama in business, uh -huh. but I went to work for a community college and loved it and that was 20 something years ago. And the, the minute I got there, I found out the best job in the college was president. So that's the one I wanted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it just happened. <laughs> yeah. It just happened. So uh, what do you like about community colleges? What I like about community colleges is the word community. Uh -huh. I mean, we are here for every aspect of the community. No one's turned away. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come to the community college for training, for um, going to college to get a, a degree, a four-year degree eventually, or, or even an associate degree. So to me, we're the most connected higher education institution in any city. Yeah. Yeah. So. And people that may not, that, that, that uh, a four-year institution may be an, an impossible financially for them can, can go to OTC. Well, they think it is, and, and they can come, and our cost is low, mm -hmm. and they can come and they try it. And what we find is often people don't know they can learn. Yeah. So they come, they take a couple classes, the next thing they know, they're finished, and then they're at Jury of Angela, Missouri State, and have a degree. So you teach them to learn first, almost, we teach them, as part of we it. We teach them that they're smarter than they think they are. Yeah. They know more than they think they are. They do. And then that the hard work pays off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I wish someone would convince me of that. Well, <laughs> there's of all you, of those You're things. always welcome at OTC. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And does OTC has a mascot? Uh, well, it's officially the Eagles. Yeah. Is that on anything? Uh, we, we have a big, really gigantic eagle in the atrium. Oh, okay. But originally, they had a vote to have different uh, mascots that came down to a rhinoceros or an eagle. <laughs> and the eagle won. Which would not happen in the wild. N no, no, it would not. <laughs> 
That's interesting. So we could have been the OTC rhinoceros <laughs> <laughs> right. I imagine that was talked about in that meeting. I bet it was. It was before my time. But, yeah. yeah. How do we pluralize this without sounding dumb? That's right. Yeah. That's right. But the rhinos, sure. Yeah, yeah. That eagle is classic, but rhinos would have been pretty cool. I think it would have probably been the only one, but we don't have athletic teams, so it probably didn't matter. Yeah, so, right. Yeah. <laughs> do you have an eagle costume? We do not have one. No, I meant you. No, no, I do not. I do not have one. No. <laughs> Halloween next year, maybe. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, when I, I have a two-year-old son, yeah. and I like alliteration for names, and my mm -hmm. last name starts with an H, I had not considered Hal, though. Is Hal short for something? No, it is Hal. Just Hal. Hal Higdon. You, that's not? You sure? I'm positive. <laughs> But you sound like my first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade yeah. teacher who would tell me every time, no, it stands for something. Then I'd have to call my mother and she'd say, no, it really is just house. <laughs> so. Do our other house short for something? Uh, I don't know many house, but uh, yeah. there is a writer, Hal Higdon, that actually is a writer uh, about running and jogging. For Runner's World. When I Googled you, I found him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he, he actually lives in Chicago and is really famous, and I'm not. But, so when you Google, you get him, not me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but has he ever been on a no. late-night talk show local? Not this good. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you are good. <laughs> you became president for a reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have here, I want to play a little game with you. We have right. here um, course descriptions. Okay. OTC offers a wide variety of courses. We do. So I'm going to read to you a course description. Okay. You have to uh, try to guess what the course is. All right. Or if it's a made up one. Okay. So you either got to get it right or it's made up. That, this is a little scary. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, course number one, this course is designed to introduce the student to the fundamentals of acting and make the student a more informed observer of the acting experience. I would say that's one of ours. Yep. What's it's it called? On the third floor. It's on the third floor? Yeah, the Glois. Oh, the Glois. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I didn't even ask you to tell me the room number, so that was good. <laughs> OK. Course number two, this course will help students to better understand specific patterns and numerical sequences, as well as read the body language of those around them to better anticipate danger. I, I hope that's not one of ours. No. It's <laughs> a fake course called Card Counting 101. OK. Great. Great. <laughs> OK, uh, two more. Uh, course number three, this is a basic course focusing on the measurement of fluid flow, determ determination of water supply, fluid movement, and velocities. I think that's a real course. It is a real course, fire hydraulics. Right. Which would, does fire, are hydraulics run by fire? Well, <laughs> I think the hoses that you put them out with are run. Yeah. yeah. So if someone wants to be a firefighter, do they go to OTC? They do. And, yeah. And then we have a great program. Yeah? Do you just um, like to train them? Do they go around campus and just lift people up and carry them to other buildings? Well, or sometimes we just let them get the big hose out. And, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'll super hot day. fire truck. You do? Yeah. Does it, if there's a fire at OTC, do you use it? Or is it just for training? I think it's just for training. Yeah? yeah. So. Do you get in there? And I don't want to test it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> do, you get, do, you get, do you have access to it? Do you have access to anything you want there? I have a pass key. <laughs> 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 Say no more. <laughs> All right, last one. Course number four. This is, a, this is an advanced course that deals with the ins and outs of creating, producing, writing, and maintaining a semi-successful late-night talk show. We don't have it, but you need to take it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> take it! <laughs> well... I take back my awesome suggestion of hot CC, then. You can't do it. All right. That's all we got time for. We're ending on an insult, but I love you. Well, thank you. You're always welcome at OTC. Thanks, thank thanks so much, Al. We'll be back with poet Michelle Nimmo. That was great. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by the Coffee Ethic. Welcome back. We do not have music tonight. Oh, but we do have a poet. Yay! 
You hear that, English teachers? You're making a difference. Our poet tonight uh, is Michelle Nimmo. She recently competed in the Women of the World Poetry Slam. That's a big deal. Please give it up for Michelle Nimmo. I used to think these poems and relationships were controlling. The puppet master's friend to my never-ending feelings. But as the pillar of salt that has sat on my porch is starting to blow away, you blink when the grains sting your eyes. But they are my best gift. As the severe thunderstorm warning hanging in the air between us grows, I know my yellow umbrella shows how thin my lines of exhaustion are in between the wire mesh of our mess. And I suggest we head for shelter as lightning flashes, thunder rumbles, and rain is starting to hit my cheeks. As I weep and wonder why inside of our circle we have drawn a line. We have edged ourselves sternly on the side of shady days and falling pains, and we'll hold our stance, standing still, lips pursed in our stubborn, well, I will remember we were family once. Spokes in a wheel of feelings I feel I am forgetting. And I know these things don't happen random. Houses built with pixie stick communication eventually topple no matter the sweet. And we'll lay daisies at the feet of acceptance. Accepting nothing in return, we don't talk about these things. In between sugary streets of lip smacking, still lacking communication. And maybe our friendship flashes will weather this windstorm. We'll anchor down with expectations ignored if that is the will of the backing winds. And you'll label me, label me lady emotional, tossed by the downdraft, crashing against your turn back indifference while those shining grains of sand between us are still caught in the toes of tolerance. Leave me paperback dusty, unbound by boundaries, Doppler radar broken with lightning strike feelings that burn poem pages slowly, bridges, too easy for this lisp of language that whispers on the wind that walks in on dandelion snow and i know i'll make a wish but the storm sirens are screaming that earnest earthworm warning that some relationships always turn to garden dirt again michelle Nemo. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our show for tonight. Just so you know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight go to a great organization called Young Life. Yeah! I thought they'd do that. We're going to see you guys next week. Big Whiskey is the official caterer of the Mystery Hour. Sleep tight.